So, how do we know that Mach number reached 1 at this particular back pressure? Because remember, the back pressure is the thing that we really control. Uh, this is where we enter the concept of choke flow, which is nothing else but saying that the flow where the velocity of throat reaches sonic velocity and then the the throat area becomes the critical area and the, the area exit area over throat area becomes exit area over over critical area. So if you look at this value 3.5 at the exit versus throat, then we go to our isentropic flow chart and uh, identify on the area uh, ratio that characteristic point 3.5 and, uh, and for that value we have two Mach number values one is Mach 2.8 that supersonic region and another is 0.17 so given that this is subsonic regime at the exit our Mach number at the exit is going to be 0 0.17 and uh, ignore this case 7 that comes later and for that Mach number we have the value of P or P naught of 0 0.98 so it's PE over P naught and uh, which means that any value after that would result in in switching to supersonic flow. So that's how we determine that and uh, given that this is subsonic flow at the exit we still have exit pressure equal to to the back pressure. So all these three cases are isentropic and in the next part we will be going uh, doing the remaining four cases, uh, five cases.